So hello and uh, welcome back to another Blue Yonder video. Today I'm going to be talking about what I think might just be the biking kit bargain of 2024. So uh, let's get into the video shall we? So it's uh, 4 degrees Celsius which is about 39 Fahrenheit for you guys in the US uh, and it's, it's pretty chilly. So uh, what better time to talk about winter gloves or all season gloves? And uh, these are the gloves in particular that I'm going to be talking about. They are the Merlin Catton 2 uh, leather all season glove. Now, as the name suggests, Merlin Catton 2, um, this is the second iteration of uh, this particular glove from Merlin. There is a Catton 3 uh, which is currently available, and this is essentially the outgoing model. So, as a consequence of it being the outgoing model, there are bargains to be had. Uh, and personally, I, I've looked at the Catton 3 and I can't see where there is that much difference between that and, and this, the outgoing model. So the Catton 3 is uh, currently for sale at 89.99. Um, because these are the outgoing model, they're available at essentially half price. Uh, I managed to pick these up from Sports Bike Shop in the UK for £44.99. The gloves come in uh, three colours. Uh, this chocolate brown colour, which is, I think is the best, um, are just a plain black, an ordinary black glove, and uh, a rather flamboyant yellow. Not really my taste. Now the gloves are registered to uh, CE uh, 13594 level 1, which is the lower of the two standards. Uh, and it's the standard really that's designed for gloves that are designed more for dexterity uh, of use rather than outright protection. But personally, uh, the gloves to me feel more than up to the job. They feel extremely well made. The leather is nice and soft, uh, yet feels quite tough. Uh, the double stitching uh, looks extremely secure. So um, for me and the type of riding that I'm doing, uh, I think the level one is more than adequate. Features wise, uh, the gloves come with a high pora waterproof lining, which is quite a trusted brand. Um, also, it comes with uh, D3O uh, knuckle armour. There is a, a hard capping underneath the piping here on the knuckles, but below that there is uh, D3O, uh, which is a much softer armour, much more compliant armour, uh, which makes it far more comfortable to actually wear. And one of the features I really do like is something that's actually not there, and that's those horrible hard plastic scaphoid protectors, which seem to be on every glove that you look at at the moment. And, and that's one of the reasons why I bought these gloves, is that it doesn't have that. It just has uh, padded and, and reinforced leather uh, at that point. And, and to me, as I say, I'm not doing track days on, this, on uh, these bikes. In fact, I'm not doing track days on any bikes at the moment. So something like this is, is more than enough for, for my needs. The other thing I quite like is these suede inners on the palms, uh, where you actually grip the bars and the throttle. It just makes it so much easier and nicer to use. The other uh, nice touch is the way that uh, the gloves join together on this little Preston system. It's just again, it's an ease of use convenience feature that you don't see in a lot of gloves. Sizing wise, they're reasonably true to expectations. Um, I ordered uh, mediums, these are a medium, um, I think the size eight or eight and a half, uh, and they fit me quite well. They're nice and snug. A little, little bit of room at the tips of the fingers, which actually on a winter glove, is actually something that's actually a benefit um, but yeah for me they fit really nicely now, I'm not really sure how you describe the length of these gloves they're not really full gauntlets are they but they're, they're longer than most of the shorty sporty gloves so they, I guess they're kind of like a three-quarter length so you can pull them over your jacket like I've done here or depending on uh, which jacket you're wearing I've got a, an old triumph jacket which is similar to this but it, on those it actually fits really snugly under the cuff so um, they're fairly flexible and versatile. Now in terms of the Hypora lining, uh, I've not tested its waterproofness, but there's no reason to suggest that it wouldn't be 100% waterproof. In terms of the thermal protection, not sure what the weight is, but the gloves feel fairly bulky, but not too bulky. They've just got that Goldilocks zone, it's, it's just right. Um, and warmth wise, um, I haven't been riding with heated grips today, even though it's four degrees and the gloves have been perfectly comfortable. Um, I haven't felt uh, numb fingers or chill fingers at all. I would say if you've got heated grips, 
they're good for an hour at these sort of temperatures without uh, getting too uncomfortable. Uh, if you haven't got heated grips, depending on what you're wearing underneath and whether you're keeping your core nice and warm, you've probably got half an hour to an hour. So generally speaking, I would say that they're a good winter glove and they're definitely a very good all season glove. So in conclusion, uh, if you're looking for a new set of winter gloves and you don't want to look as though you've borrowed Mark Marquez's gloves, then you know you can do an awful lot worse than these uh, Merlin Cutting Twos. At the moment, sub £50, they're an absolute bargain, so get out there and grab some while you can. So uh, that concludes my review of the Merlin Cutting Two. If you found this useful and you've enjoyed the video, please hit like. If you've not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. That really does help the channel gain exposure uh, within the YouTube algorithm. So until the next time, please remember, keep it shiny side up and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye for now.